Good morning, Steve Fried with the morning grain comments. Well, happy Friday, everybody. Uh, markets overnight are come mixed. Uh, stocks are lower and the dollar is higher. And uh, a lot of unknown as far as BX is concerned. A lot of unknown as far as U.S. stimulus is concerned. And a lot of hope for the vaccine uh, turning the U.S. economy around. Yesterday, USDA really failed to put any bullish news out. Uh, they did lower world wheat stocks due to higher feeding, but uh, kept the U.S. corn carryout unchanged. Uh, kept uh, did raise um, the soybean crush here in U.S., but kept exports unchanged, and uh, kept most of the South American numbers uh, unchanged, despite the fact that um, Conab came out with a 102 million ton uh, corn crop versus the U.S. days 110, and right now. Um, if we combine all of the um, South American crop numbers for corn, there are 375 million bushels below uh, the USDA's guess uh, yesterday. We also note that Argentine soybeans are now 55% uh, good to excellent versus seven, 67 last week, and soils are 30% dry versus 16 last week. So. Um, USDA, as far as South American soybean crops, are still uh, 9 million tons above uh, a year ago. So all these numbers really don't add up. Uh, we are getting word that some of the managed funds are building a small long position into January, especially uh, beans and corn, uh, in case there is a January rally, whether it's due to South American weather, uh, whether it's due to the USDA finally changing some of these numbers, uh, it's interesting when you look at the private estimates for U.S. 2021 corn carryout, uh, they range from 1460, um, <clears throat> the low is 1460 versus the government 1702, and those people are using an, uh, an export number uh, <clears throat> of uh, 2750 uh, versus the USDA's 2650. Over in the beans, uh, kind of shocking numbers, uh, USDA is 175, the low number is, uh, uh, is uh, 30, with an exports of 2375 versus USDA's uh, 2200. And not much change in the wheat, most people are, are kind of looking for a carryout around the USDA's 860 number. One group is down 20 million bushels due to higher exports. So we look way far ahead as far as 2122. Uh, most people are, have a crop in U.S. of 15.2 billion bushels, uh, pretty much similar demand. And so uh, the ones that have a 1,500 carryout for this year have a 1,500 carryout for 21-22. Over in the beans, a uh, crop of uh, basically 4,500, uh, demand just a little bit lower than 4,500 in a range of carryout for 21-22 beans, 120 to 130. And for the wheat, uh, most uh, carryout numbers are 740 with a crop of 1860. Demand somewhere around 2.1 billion bushels. So again, uh, it's really hard to say that the low that the highs are in. And it's hard to say that we won't see much of a rally in January, testing or even trading over $12 nearby beans, uh, trading near uh, the um, 450 corn area, maybe $5, and then um, see if we can trade closer to 650 on nearby Chicago wheat. South American weather is going to be key um, in the wheat. If there's any export restrictions in Russia will be key. Uh, U.S. Southern Plains weather will be key. Um, we'll be watching pretty closely of any stimulus package uh, in U.S., watching pre-exit, uh, watching money flow, and then just uh, the virus increase in cases uh, versus a vaccine. Hope everybody has a good weekend. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM, AD Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.